What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Cuddles, and we are gonna be taking a look at interior carpenters hand tools you can get on Amazon. That's gonna include your drywall hangers, your steel stud framers, guys like myself, and probably guys like you too. All right, anything that I miss in this video, please go ahead and leave that down in the comments, all you experts out there that know what you need and know what you want. But this uh, video is really geared towards people getting into the trades and needing, needing to know which tools they're gonna use when they start out. So let's dive into the drywall set and we'll wrap this up with the framer set at the end, hand tools, power tools, and a set of Occidentals obviously at the end of the video. All right, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Uh, sit back, grab your acorns, let's enjoy the show. Here's a drywall hand tools cheat list. On the left is the tools, on the right is the optional tools. We'll be talking about all these in today's video. First on the list is the drywall knives. This is the yellow grabber, personal favorite of mine to be honest. Now this is retails for $7.99 sent to your door. Comes in the option of a single, double, or four pack. Easy turn knob for access to blade change. It's got a good weight to it, nice heft to the handle, something I actually enjoy. Now this knife right here is kind of on the higher end of the spectrum, $12.99, it's the Irwin. If you want something different, this thing's got a different grip. I personally don't care for it, but a lot of guys really enjoy this knife. Let me know in the comments below if this is one of your personal favorites. Moving right along to the drywall hammers or a hatchet, whatever you'd like to say. Now this is an east wing, est wing, whatever. It retails for $31.98, sent to your door, kind of a staple of the drywall hanger. Here's a cheaper version, it's a gold blot. Now I don't really care for this brand so much but they do make affordable tools if you're just trying to sneak in to the trades. $21.53, sent to your door, gold blot, drywall, hatchet. If you're looking for something a little bit more rugged or badass looking, for $26.34 and $8 shipping, you can get this Odin hammer. Had some pretty good reviews from some commercial carpenters, figured I'd throw it on the list. Next, we're gonna go ahead and jump to the rasps. Now this is a rasp from Crafts Tools. I put this one on the list just because it has the screw on the very end. Now this rasp sells for $9.35 and I think it's a pretty good deal when compared to the Stanley pictured here for $11.90 but it's got the plastic um, rasp blade changer which typically breaks or wears out so you end up just buying a full another rasp later on next we got the tape measures now this is obviously a no-brainer you're gonna need a tape measure but uh, I like the 25 foot tape measures I like the DeWalt I like the thicker blades like this now these particular ones retail for $33.49 this pack of Stanley Fat Max retails for $38.94, sent to your door. Both of these packs give you two tape measures, which I think is a great idea to have a backup. Jumping over to keyhole saws, this is Edwards Tools. This is a cheaper one at $6.95, and I put this on the list because I don't really carry these too often. They jab into my leg, and I normally use a router, but they do come in handy, and it's a good tool to have. Now, every good drywaller has himself a kicker, and retailing at $21.99, this pocket kicker is a perfect addition to your tool bags easy to use a compact solution to the kicker problem now there is a medium sized kicker made but we will focus on the larger kicker shown here at $24.76 I prefer this kicker myself if I'm kicking up sheets I'll pull it out and I'll have it ready to use this is not something you'd keep in your bags but I thought I'd throw it on the list anyways because it's my personal favorite. Let me know what kind of kicker you like to use, a small, medium, or large one, down in the comments below. 
We're gonna wrap this list up with a T-square. This is a Savage T-square retailing at $37.55. I thought it looked pretty cool, figured I'd put it on the list. Now you're gonna want yourself at least a heavy duty one. If you want the adjustable T-square, you can do that as well. They do store a lot better than the, the uh, fixed bladed ones here but I personally like the heavy duty fixed blade and I thought this Savage one looked cool. All right guys, at this point in the video, we've seen drywall set up. Now everything from this point on will be a few optional things that drywallers could use. Like if you're gonna be in the commercial drywall space, you might need some of these tools. But from here on, it's stuff that framers are gonna be using too. So consider this the start of the framing bag set and the first three or four items are going to be optional for the drywall. Now at the end of this section, I will throw up a cheat sheet for the framers or an interior carpenter's cheat sheet. But we're going to start this off with some snips. Now these are from Northwest. That's the brand that I prefer. I actually like the Blackout Edition. But this model right here was running anywhere between $32 and $39. So I figured I'd add this channel lock set right here. And it's only $18.95. It might not last you as long, but it will uh, get you through in a pinch. Now, we're gonna move on over to torpedo levels. Now, this was a Savage level. I like this level, it works pretty good. This one's a nine inch one, and it retails at $17.27. This torpedo level is also magnetized, which makes it easy when you're working with steel studs. It's accurate, it's one of my favorites. So, we've got this angle head attachment driver. Now, I've done a video on this before. I really love this uh, tool right here. It's easy to use and get into some really tight spaces with that snake shaft. Now, this bit right here is made by DeWalt and retails at $22.38, but it's a must have in anyone's tool bags. Now, a speed square is optional for drywallers as well. It comes in handy for me. I like it for making some straight cuts or figuring out some angles. This one is $10.53, sent right to your door. It's made by Swanson, pretty good brand. Just make sure you're getting a metal one if you guys are getting this. Don't cheap out and grab the plastic. I throw a hammer out here, it's a framing hammer. I personally use the uh, drywall hatchet when I'm doing steel stud framing just because you're probably going to be working around some drywall here and there and you're going to need that hatchet eventually. A metal framing square is a staple of any good framer. This is something you're not going to always keep on your tool bags but you're going to need to keep this in your kit or in your bag somewhere. This one's at $6.99. It's an Irvine Hopefully it's square, you'd think it would be. Next on the list is a C-clamp. This is a six inch C-clamp. Notice the tips right there, they don't pivot. That's the kind of style you're gonna want when you work with steel studs. You're gonna want an 11 inch clamp as well. Both of these clamps are running a pretty penny right now. $12 and some change and $18 and some change. The brand we're looking at right here is Capri. It's made in Taiwan. They actually make some quality goods if you're comparing it to uh, Chinese goods in my personal opinion. You can also get an Irwin uh, branded one. They're a little bit more expensive, but these ones do quite nicely. Another tool I'm throwing on this list is a plumb bob. You're not going to use this very often. It's probably going to sit in your toolbox, but when you need it to plumb up a door, it's there. Or if you need it to plumb up a stud because your laser's just not working, you're going to need yourself a plumb bob. Here's a DeWalt drywall setup. This is a combo kit, screw gun router, and a couple batteries. It's about $260, something you can pick up to start out. And you can pick whatever brand you want, like a Makita, Milwaukee, Hilti. All of them have their own little price range, but a lot of them offer kits just like this. Now, if you're doing some framing, you're gonna probably have an impact driver like so. Once again, pick the brand that you like. This is just a wall. I just threw it out there. It's quick and easy to find. This gun by itself is running you about $100, I think. Not too bad. 
Now, if you're also doing steel stud framing, you're gonna need yourself a laser. Now, once again, I'm just showing the DeWalt brand here, but all other brands make their own lasers. Horizontal, vertical, dot lasers. You're probably gonna need one of each or a laser that does all three. Now, here's a good set of tool bags from Occidental. This is a set of fat lips. They're gonna set you back about 350 bucks, to be honest. Now, this is a hybrid set of uh, nylon and leather it's a notch above your typical uh, green framer set but a notch below the full-blown leathers oh hey <laughs> welcome back hey uh did you guys like that video i hope so took me all day to do it so if you did like it you know throw me one of them thumbs up or whatever i guess comment down below if you didn't like it i'm not too sure what you're even doing here to be honest but you can throw a dislike down there too you guys all know how youtube works so if uh, that worked for you, cool. If not, yo, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. You want some? Whoa. Whoa, she actually does want some. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. You can reject her after you ask her for it. You want some?